everyone, Samantha here. In this video, I want to show my completed storage sticker organization. I'm not going to show the stickers that's over by like um, my nightstand. Those are organized too, but I don't want to go into all of that. But I did organize that in what well, is two little bins for stickers that I use um, when I'm in my bedroom and I want to journal. What I'm going to show is the sticker stores that I'll have in my creative space. Well, that I have in there, but I just took it out today in order to um, do this video. I was able that I was able to access it because I mentioned in a previous video about all the painting that's happening. But fortunately, this was accessible, so I was able to pull it off one of the shelves that I could get to. So, with that being said, let me just explain... Um, I actually have one, two, three, four, five, well, really four binders and one folder that I can stick in this binder. And I showed that one before, but let me just show. I'm not going to go through all the pages, but just to show what I did. So, um, how can I say, show what I did quickly. So, this is words and images. And it, you see, I, wrote, I put the gold stickers here. Um, gold letters that spells out stickers. I got these actually gold stickers a while ago from Dollar Tree. I really like them. And I wrote words and images on a label and put it here. So when it's on the shelf, I can just um, identify what it is and put it out. But it's not like all the binders are the same colors. And I'll get confused. It's just that I prefer just to label it. So, anyway, so I'm just going to open it up. I didn't... Okay, so over here, the folder part, I did put this in there. These sticker sheets. And here... Oh, yeah. I put some of these ideology words here. The other sticker booklets, I kept. I have them with me. I'll take them with me. I don't have that many sticker um, booklets. Let me show you what I do have really quick. I didn't bother to tear these out and, um, put them in plastic. I just left them as is because I don't have too, too many of these and, um, I'm going to use these up and then, you know, maybe at a later date, I'll get some after my challenge, but you know, I think even way past that because it's so many right there. It's enough for me and I don't want to want to be so overwhelmed that I can't find something that I'm looking for. So well, I just put a little bit of them in here because I had this packet for a while. So I don't have anything in here yet. Um, so let me just bring this. So what I did was I just put words. So each plastic just have words. You see that? Front, back. Let me move up some. Front, front, back. Front, back. You know, so... Yeah, so that's what I did. With this. And so, going to the next section. So, all of those are words and sorts up here in the front. And then in the back is some images. So, you know what I was surprised? It was really, once I settled down and, like, focused on it, and I had more than, like, an hour to do it, it wasn't as bad as I thought thought and I was surprised to see what stickers I really had a lot of and it says a lot about what I really like um I do have images as you see and I have some more by my best side mostly like flower um stickers and stuff that I got from Dollar Tree you know um right and hold on this, I showed me making this, right? So, this doesn't have holes in it. And this was the hearts and butterflies, right? And I don't have to worry about not having enough space because I'm not buying any stickers anytime soon. I'll be using these stickers up. And then when it's time to get more, I'll have space. So, I'm not worried about that. I have all these dividers in here. Um... Just because I want to put them in a binder. But you see it stops right here. It's not that much. It's not that bad. 
So that's for words and images, right? Okay, so I'm going to close that up. So that's words and images. So you know about this one where I have a lot of planner stickers and I have more planner stickers by my bedside. That one I'm not going to show. So actually, this makes six books. Yeah, this makes six books. I don't think I have a show to run through of this. I'll just do that real quick. You know, so that's that. A lot more planner stickers in here. Okay, so um, so that's one, two. I showed three things so far, but of course that other that green one is not a booklet. It's actually, I mean that green one is not a binder. It's a folder, and I stick it inside the purple one. So so far that's actually two, the one I purchased and that binder. This is the third one, yeah. And this is sticker storage. Now I put on the side here letters. Because in here, this is the one where I realize what kind of stickers I really, really like. And it's letters. It's letters. more, than, And I think that's because I am a writer. Yes, I like images. And I do use them. And I have them on stencil. But I notice even like a lot of my stencils are abstract. Um, abstract designs. They're really not a lot of... Um, how can I say concrete images? I do have some that's like that, but most of them are words, letters, and some images. So that's very interesting how even this organizing, I, I got to see like, okay, like what I really, really do like. And so even here, you see just a bunch of letters. And I noticed a lot of my, more, a lot of my stamps are letters and words. I have some images, but they're letters and words. And in my die cuts, I realized that they are, um, they're geometric images or like label type images. Very, very few images. Um, it's, it's, um, it's something to um, realize. So, see, so all words, all letters, this is the one that has the most of something. It's letters. So, I, and it goes all the way to the back. Yeah, so that's that. So that's number three. One, two, three. Here is the fourth one. Faith-based stickers. And I noticed that um, a lot of my faith-based stickers are... I have this one here. I, I like that one. This one that Christine... No, no I'm sorry, that Charlene... Not, that um, Latricia bought for me. The ones that Charlene purchased for me, um, she, I shouldn't say she bought this for me, that she gave me, because I don't know if she bought it for me and she had it and gave it, but you know what I mean, um, that um, Patricia gave me. And this one, yes. oh, the ones that Charlene gave me, I put them inside already, um, because it was some in a regular, just regular pack, but um, it was something I wanted to show, oh yes, and this one right here. Is this it? I thought I had it. Oh, right here. I got this from, um, I use a lot of them. I purchased these myself from Michael's, a recollection brand. You know, it has a lot of scriptures and stuff. You know, so. But I realized that I don't have as many faith-based stickers, and that's because I buy a lot of stickers from Dollar Tree. And Dollar Tree, they have some faith-based stickers, but not a lot, a lot. And I noticed, like, faith-based stickers, they cost a pretty... They cost more. I bought some in the past, and um, this was a while ago. And I was surprised to see that I had only, like, one sheet in each pack for $4, four dollars and change. And I had got it off Amazon. And I was just, like, a really bit... I was really... um. Not a really bit. Oh, Lord Jesus. I was I was teed off a bit. I'm not going to lie. Because I was like, what? How many stickers is this? And I paid $4? But I realized I would be able to purchase more faith-based stickers for um, a lesser price if I was buying them from like Hobby Lobby, Tuesday Mornings, or Joann's. And I'm not near any of those stores. So um, the only faith-based stickers... 
that are really, how can I say, accessible to me is the ones in Michaels. And it's still not a large selection. But I do have some. Um, because uh, Michaels just started, um, you know, selling Illustrated Faith. So, you know, I had gotten a few pieces from of that from there. So, um, yeah, so I have this. And I put a lot in here. I also have some some words. But yeah, I put them inside my um I put them inside the um the word binder. So so here we go. So here's this. See. So I just put them in there and I have a lot of loose pieces that I put in here. You know, so it's not too too many, but I I store them in here. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm out of frame. Yeah, so and I got a lot of these. If anything, I think I have more um stencils that are um faith based but that's it that's my faith based sticker binder right and then last but not least i have my pop-up stickers and i actually changed it from the little white binder i had in it because it needed space to ex you know just it just needed space that little white one was like just not doing it um, for what I needed to do. Hold on. And plus, I have more pop-up stickers that I need to put in. So, it was wiser to use this one because it's more flexible and, you know, again, more space. So, I just put them in there. It's just very simple. You know, so if I want a pop-up sticker, I could just go in and get it out. So, it's not nothing too difficult. Anybody could put it together. I mean, if this is because if you don't want to buy um, a sticker storage, you want to make it yourself with very few basic supplies, a binder, some clear inserts, and that's it. And just stick stick the fold the, the the stickers inside of the um the binder. So um, I'm very pleased because they're not all bunched up together. It's very, very organized. Stickers are not all over the place. And um, yeah, so that's it. So, and then I, I actually typed this up. Got some free clip art. Put the image there and um, printed it out. So that's that. Right. Put that. That's this one. Have this one. And so it's so organized that I really like it now. Ooh. <laughs> Let me pull, try to pull that up a bit. Hold on one second. Yep. And then this. <laughs> this is the only purchased one. And it's nice, but I didn't need to purchase any more. Thank God. Okay, so that's it for now. Thanks for watching. God bless you. If you have any questions, all comments or tips, you can leave them in the comment section below. Again, thanks for watching. God bless you. And remember, Jesus loves you. Bye-bye.